To illustrate the use of contingency tables, I'm going to use the data in the file called Titanic Data. Note I have the data in here in two different formats. In columns 1 to 5, uh, basically the data are arranged in terms of survival status. So I've got the people who survived and the people who died in rows as opposed to columns 11 to 13 over here in which um, it is the class that's in rows and then it's survival status that's in columns. Now these data are the same, it's just that they are arranged uh, a little bit differently and you can use either one. Now to get the contingency table we go to the stat tab, tables, and we choose cross tab and chi-square. Uh, first thing we have to do is tell Minitab how our data are arranged and if you hit the down arrow here our data are arranged in a two-way table. Two-way because one of them is in one variable is in rows the other variable is in columns. Alright put your cursor in the box right here and you have a choice of what data you want to use, either one is fine. I'm going to start off by using the data that are in columns 2, 3, 4, and 5. And by the way, as I do this, I've got my finger depressed on my mouse. I say select. And um, when Minitab is looking here for columns containing the table, it's looking for the numbers. And the way my data are arranged in columns 1 to 5 it is columns 2 to 5 that actually contain the numerical data. Now the rows. Uh, in the rows I've got the variable that I've called survival status and in columns, and by the way all of this it says here is optional, but I certainly would put in the rows and it doesn't hurt to put in a name for columns as well. All the columns C2 to C5 I've called that variable class. Now if I do nothing else, and the default here is Minitab will display my data as a count, if I just say OK to this, it reproduces the table that's in our notes. And the difference between what this table shows me and what this table shows me is that this one includes the totals. So for example, the 325 is the total of the first class passengers, the 285 is the total of the second, etc. So we get the totals coming down each one of the columns, but we also get the totals coming across the rows. So 711 is the total number of passengers who survived. 1490 is the total number who died. Okay, that's great. So that's the count. But generally speaking, when we're talking about data like this, we want to talk to them or speak to them in terms of a percentage. So let's go to Edit Last dialog box open. And I'm going to turn off counts and instead I'm going to use total percents. Now when I click on total percents, Minitab is going to take the data. And when I say the data, I mean the numbers that are down here in columns C2 to C5. And it's going to take those and it's going to divide them by the total number of passengers or people who were aboard the Titanic, which is the 2201. Uh, so we'll get that, but it's also going to take the numbers and divide by row totals and column totals. So let's just see how this is going to work. So if I say total percents, press OK. What Minitab has now done is to take the, all these numbers right here, all of them got divided by, if I scroll up, they got divided by the 2201. So that gets me the numbers to, or sorry, let me turn something on here. That gives me these numbers right here. So if I had taken my numbers right here, divide them all by the 2201, these are the percentages I get. Those percentages in the center of the table are called the joint distribution. So as an example, I could say that 5.36% of everybody aboard the Titanic was a second class passenger and they survived the sinking. 
roughly 30.1% of everybody aboard the Titanic were crew and they died. Okay, but this table also shows me some percentages that are right here in what we call the margins. So there's that and there's this. And these marginal distributions show me the percent in terms of each variable. So as an example of all the people who were aboard the Titanic, 67.7% of them died, 32.3% of them survived. So that's one way of looking at the data. I can also say that of all the people who were aboard the Titanic, 14.77% of them were first class, 12.95% of them were second class, etc. Okay, so this gives me both the marginal distribution and the joint distribution. If I want to get the conditional distribution, we go back up to edit last dialog box and you have a choice of doing the conditional in terms of the variable that's in the rows or in terms of the variable that's in the columns. Now by the way you can have all this turned on but I would not suggest you do that because you get all kinds of numbers and half the time you don't know what any one of them are. So I generally only choose one of these at a time. All right, in this case, I'm going to get Minitab to do the percent coming across the rows. I say OK to this. Here's what I have. OK, well, how did Minitab get these numbers? Let's scroll back up here for a second. It took the total number of passengers who survived. These four numbers got divided by 711. These are the percentages that are shown right here. So what does this tell me? It tells me of all the passengers who survived, roughly 30% of them were crew, roughly 29% of them were first class passengers. Of all the people who died, 45% of them were crew, whereas roughly 8% of them were first class passengers. And notice that it gives me 100% coming across the rows and that's what it's telling me it did. Now I can do this one more way if I go back in. Instead of doing this in terms of the row totals, I can do the percents coming down each of the columns. So I turn that one on, say OK, and let me just scroll back up to my counts now. So in the table I just generated, what it has done, what the program has done, is it's taken, say, those two numbers divided by its column total. These two divided by its column total, etc. And that gives me the table I see right here. So what can I say? I can say that of all the first class passengers, Roughly 62% of them survived, 37% of them died. On the other hand, if I just want to speak about the crew, roughly 76% of them died and roughly 24% of them survived. Okay, so that's the three different ways that you can get, hang on here, let me go back here three different ways you can get percentages. You can do it in terms of rows, columns, or total percents.